Okay everyone, welcome back to another Roblox scripting tutorial and guys in today's video I'm going to be teaching you about um, in pair loops, okay, or for I comma V in pair loops. They're pretty useful I use them a lot. They're actually pretty exciting to use too There's a lot of cool stuff you can do with them, and I'm excited to show you so yeah Anyways guys like always make sure you watch my other videos if this is your first video You won't understand anything that's going on So make sure you watch the first one the link will be in the description below to the playlist anyways guys Let's go ahead and start this video and uh, yeah Actually before I start I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do with this video, okay, so look this is what we're gonna do Watch this, okay? I'm gonna make all these parts delete one by one and uh, through a loop, okay? So that's that's pretty cool looking, okay? Now it's a pretty easy way to do it, but anyways, guys, let's let's go ahead and start. So um, yeah, okay. All right. So first things first, leave a like, okay? <laughs> okay. I don't know why I said that. It's just like engraved in my brain now, okay? But I'm gonna go ahead and move this over to um over here inside of the server storage. And make sure it's not there. Now that was the demonstration I did for myself, just to make sure it all works. And um, yeah. But anyways, first things first, we're gonna create, we're gonna create a new script, okay? So script, and then we're gonna make our table. So you guys should already make tables already. I did that in the last tutorial. But we're gonna go ahead and do table, or not table, sorry, local. Um, we're gonna name this table. We're gonna name this table. Um, my favorite parts, or my favorite, actually, my favorite foods okay and we're gonna name it um we're gonna put it in here we're gonna put pizza we're gonna put uh we're gonna put pizza uh pasta and um pickles actually i hate pickles i'm sorry um i can't put pickles there dude okay we're gonna put uh i don't know hot dogs okay there we go all right anyways we're gonna put hot dogs in there okay and then we're gonna go ahead and show you how this works okay so this is the four IV and pair loops, and basically what it does is it loops through the table and it shows you every single value and with a key. And uh, yeah, so yeah, okay. All right, so this is what it looks like. Okay, go ahead and type this out. Four I comma V in pairs do. Now this here, the I, you can make this whatever you want. This is what it goes by, right? You can make this key. All right, so for key in. Um, in foods okay so this is the foods what we called it right this is what this all is in pairs um and then you put the table in here right so you put four key foods in pairs so okay keep it i and v it makes it simple okay basically v is what the or what the you know like the value of the key is okay or what the value is so it's going to go through and the first time it loops through it'll be like i will be one and then the and then my favorite foods will be pizza. And the second time it'll be I will be two. And my favorite food will be or my favorite food will be pasta. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and print it out just to show you what I mean. So we're gonna go ahead and print I, and then we're gonna print V. Okay, and make sure you watch how this works so you can see how see how it does. Okay, so there you go. All right, so it printed one pizza, two pasta, three hot dogs. Basically, it printed the it printed the I first, right? It printed the key first, and then it printed the actual value of the key second. So yeah, that's how it works. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to concatenate, which I think I already showed you, um, but but in, in like one you know like one little things here. So let me go ahead and actually concatenate and make it look better. So we're gonna do i dot dot, and then we're gonna do in here we're gonna put like equals and another space, and then we're gonna do dot dot v. Okay, now what this means, um, basically it's saying print the key and then um, this is how that's how you put it in one like string, right? You're gonna put dot dot that way it like goes with this and then you're gonna put a space here and then, then equals because that way it looks all nice and then you put the same thing dot dot v so let me show you what it looks like so yeah it prints one equals pasta two equals or one equals pizza two equals pasta three equals hot dog so yeah that's how it works basically it's basically gonna print um, the key and then the value with it and it looks all nice and pretty so yeah <laughs> okay anyways second thing second we're gonna go ahead and create that thing i showed you with um you know like how i remember how i made all like the blocks delete i'm gonna show you guys how to do that now that's a pretty cool thing and that looks you know looks pretty cool so yeah okay anyways we're gonna go ahead and make another loop or make another table i'm sorry we're gonna do local okay local um house parts Okay, now I'm gonna make a little house, okay? I'm not gonna make it too long, okay? <laughs> but, um, I, okay, we're gonna make a house and we're gonna make it like delete and uh, it'll look really cool, okay? And yeah, we're gonna make it with a loop. Now, obviously, you can do it a simple way, but we wanna make it with a cool way that takes the least amount of time and the least amount of code, okay? So, this is gonna be my house, okay, guys? I know it's not pretty, don't bully me, okay? 
Um, wait a minute. We gotta rotate the roof down. Wait, why isn't the roof moving? Oh, I think I have collisions on. That's why. Um, but yeah. And then we're gonna put that like that and move that there. And okay, I know my house is ugly. Okay, it's it's really ugly. Okay, but <laughs> this is it, guys. Okay. All right. So now we're gonna delete. Oh, oh crap! Close the script. We're gonna delete every single part by one by one. But first, we have to put the parts inside the table. Okay, so we're gonna do local house parts equals. Um, um. Oh my gosh. I'm okay. There's a quick way to do this, but I'm gonna show you. Guys, I'm gonna show you guys that in the next video. But we're gonna do local house parts equals. And actually, we're gonna name. We're gonna name. Okay, we're gonna name every single part different because it's gonna be all the same. And obviously, we can't have all the same parts for the house, or else we wouldn't be able to like get the name for it. So yeah, we're gonna name it all different stuff like part one, part two, part three, part four. And then we're gonna do that. And we're gonna do game dot workspace dot part one. And then that's the first value of the table, okay? And then I'm gonna copy it over to make it faster. So we're gonna do that. And we're gonna do part two. And then we're gonna do part three. And then we're gonna do part four. Okay, so now we have all the parts of the table inside this, or all the parts of the house inside this table, okay? So now we can easily access them. So now for some practical use, I'm gonna delete them. So we're gonna do 4i v in pairs uh, my or house parts. And now basically it's saying in pairs of the house. Okay, so the table it wants to leap through is the house. Also, I'm sorry if I didn't make that clear. But yeah, basically what this in pairs does in the parentheses, you put you put the table in there, and the table you want to loop through goes in here. And yeah. So then we're gonna do and then we're gonna do V and then destroy. Now I'm not sure if I've showed you guys this function or this function yet, but basically um, V, what it's doing is it's getting the key, which is you know here or the value okay so the value for the first one is part dot one okay so or, or the first part right so basically what the script says is it gets it says get the first part or the value of the first you know the first thing and destroy it okay that's what it says it says uh, colon destroy and that's how you that's how you delete stuff in the script guys if you guys don't know you use that thing right there you do colon destroy and then it's going to delete it. So basically, I run the script, it'll delete like that. So let's go ahead and test it out and see if it works. And basically, it'll loop through all of the table parts until it deletes them all. And yeah, so let's go ahead and test it out and see if it works. Okay, I'm kind of excited to see my house destroy. Um, but yeah, and oh wait, it, it deleted. Okay, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I need to do one by one, okay? Because that way, it like falls out of the... Okay, watch. Let me, let me show you, okay? So we're going to go ahead and actually put a weight here, okay? We're going to put a weight of like... Uh, I don't know, like three seconds or something. Okay, we're gonna make it wait three seconds because if I just run it, it deletes it so fast and loops through so fast that we don't even see it. So yeah, uh, we're gonna go ahead and hit play here and see what works. Okay, this is my house, guys. It might get deleted right now. Oh, wait, one piece is gone. Oh, wait, no. Oh my God, no, the house is falling apart. No, oh, and it all deleted. And that piece, the roofs is gone now. And okay, all right. Anyways, guys, that is the end of the tutorial. I hope you did enjoy it, guys. That's pretty much it. That's how you use loops and how you use that four through IV loop. It's pretty cool. The whole house deleted. That's it's kind of sad, but uh, rest in peace, house. Uh, anyways, <laughs> anyways, guys, that's the end of the video. Hope you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new. And you shouldn't be new because you should be, uh, you know, watching this in a series. But, yeah, leave a like if it did help you guys out. And anyways, guys, that's the end of the tutorial. And also, guys, like always, leave a comment if you are confused. I will try to help you best as I can. And, um, yeah. Anyways, guys, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.